Hey, I read something this week about a survey that some of the top practice management consultants uh, ran. It was a pretty significant survey. And one of the results of the survey was this. 80% of practices surveyed had not ever run a report on their practice management software. Now, I, I find that number unbelievable. But if you ever wanted to know why corporate dentistry is the fastest growing segment of dentistry and why all the MBAs and the suits are taking your business, that's why. Okay, That's the equivalent of a ship in the middle of the ocean with no navigation at all. Okay, And that's the state of most small businesses, private practices today. Okay, So when we talk about practice monitors, it's the lifeblood. It's your, having your finger on the pulse of the practice. So what are some of the monitors, and we'll, we'll go into more detail in lecture as to how these are calculated, but you know, the most basic is how many new patients per month. Okay, that's a practice monitor. You know, is the practice growing, declining, is it flat? You know, what's the deal? That's, that's the lifeblood. New patients are a lifeblood of your practice. The cash value of a new patient is a practice monitor, okay? You can look at, take a year's time frame, look at the total number of new patients and the total number of revenue generated, and that's the cash value of a new, of a new patient. That's a great number to know, you know, is that what is this patient worth to you? When that person, when I'm so fanatical about how a person is treated, the minute they come in the, the front door of your practice, a lot of it has to do because I'm aware of what the cash value of what it took to get them in the door, okay? Um, recall percentage. Now, this falls into the business of hygiene, but what percentage of people are fully engaged in twice a year recall? And if it's a, a perio patient, four times a year recall. What percentage? Okay, is that a department that's weak? Are people canceling? Are, are people missing appointments and not following up? That's a really, really uh, important monitor. Um, case acceptance ratio. Okay, this is one thing that I know that the corporate dental world is hammering. Okay, they are hammering uh, new dentists. When you get involved in any kind of a practice situation, they know that when you present a treatment plan, they know exactly in real time with their software that day, did the patient accept the treatment and go to the appointment book and appoint. Okay, um, this is how, this is one of the main reasons why they're creating the numbers that they're creating because they're, they're stopping bad habits and they're training you up as soon as they spot that your case acceptance ratio is poor. Um, cost of acquisition of a patient, okay, this falls under the marketing department monitor, okay, very easy to determine. Um, how much did you spend in a year on marketing divided by the number of new patients, okay? How much does it cost per patient? And once again, it comes back to that whole thing about when someone walks in their door, how they are treated you just spent a ton of money. You need to know how much money you spent to get that new client into your front door. And uh, you may approach things a little bit different when you know how expensive it is to uh, acquire a new patient into your practice. So those are some of the, the practice monitors that we'll go into more detail with. But this whole concept of having your finger on the pulse of your practice, uh, to be an entrepreneur, this is a very, very... Uh, key skill that you're going to need to become very adept at.